Moving on to the track for the opening race. A 1,000 yard allowance for quarter horses and thoroughbreds, three years and up. Scratch numbers one, two, four and five, leaving only two to compete. As a result, there is no place or show wagering, no trifecta or superfecta. So the wagering menu comprises win, exacta, early double, pick four, and place pick all. Number three is Mariner's Way, owned by Salah Almudaris, trained by Walter Solis, ridden by Cesar Franco. Number six, Head for Business, owned by Michelle Arthur and Ruben Islas, trained by Jesus Uranga, ridden by Ricardo Ramirez. Six minutes to the scheduled post time. Ready for dispatch, racing. Headless easily wins the start and establishes a clear early advantage over Mariner's Way. It's the odds on the favorite, nicely clear, linking up with the main track, a peep behind from Ricardo Ramirez as Head for Business moves three lengths clear. He was an easy four-length maiden winner four weeks ago in his first start for trainer Jesus Uranga, and he leads the way into the turn by two and a half lengths over Mariner's Way, who broke his maiden on the daytime layout last September. Mariner's Way tries to make ground on Head for Business, but is making heavy weather of the pursuit. And as they swing for home, Head for Business travels very smoothly, looking to make it two for two on this nighttime layout. He's handwritten past the 16th pole, still about four lengths in front of Mariner's Way and Head for Business never headed, never troubled. Head for Business takes care of business by three lengths. A five year old Bay Gelding by boat trip from the tribal rule mayor, Defender of Freedom, bred in California by Robert Harmon, owned by Michelle Arthur and Ruben Islas, trained by Jesus Uranga. Two for two on this nighttime layout and two for two with the Uranga barn. Winning jockey on both occasions, Ricardo Ramirez.